What's going on you guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital and welcome to the video. In this video, we're introducing an exciting new company to the channel and that company is called Metal Energy. Now Metal Energy is exploring for nickel in Canada. As we know, nickel is a very important commodity fueling the EV market into the future. As we know, the EV market is a multi-billion dollar market. So nickel is a very, very important commodity. So I'm excited to be talking about this company. They've got some pretty awesome management. Their CEO, James Sykes from Baseload, we covered them in the past, very, you know, successful uranium company. So I'm excited to be talking about this company again. We are having James back on for an interview, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And let's get into the video, guys. Also, for full disclosure details, this is a sponsored video. Always check the description down below for full disclosure details, along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer, and always remembering that these videos are not financial advice. With that being said, guys, I bring you Metal Energy. Of course, don't forget to leave us a like if you do appreciate these videos along with hitting that subscribe button and the bell for notifications on future videos. And also drop us a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. So let's get straight into it, guys. Metal Energy. So first, we're going to look at their website, then quickly jump into the stock and the investor presentation. So the website is metalenergy.ca. Metal Energy, discover nickel in Canada. And we can find some great content right there on their website. Quick little video. James Sykes joins stock host to discuss drill plans and more, we will have him on Departures Capital, like I said, talking all about the company. But the thing I really like about this company is how excited James was when it comes to, you know, the projects and how passionate he really is about these projects. And, you know, he sees lots of potential. You know, that's one of the first things I noticed right away when talking to him. And that's very nice when you see, you know, the CEO really excited about the projects. So let's talk quickly a little bit about the company. So welcome to Metal Energy. So the Man and Bridge Mine, a past producing Falcon Bridge Mine in the Thompson Nickel Belt, one of the richest nickel districts in the world, Metal Energy benefits from extensive previous exploration and mining knowledge. As the past producing mine last operated in the 1990s in a significantly lower nickel price environment. So it's amazing how things change. You know, obviously the demand for nickel and the price of nickel has gone up substantially. So this makes it much more economically feasible. And it's great to see that, you know, this is a past producing mine. It's a very prolific mining jurisdiction. So I'd say the focus on this company is definitely their assets. So the 100% owned strange project is an undrilled, highly prospective target identified by ex Inco geologists located in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Initial geophysical surveys have identified a significant anomaly, which hosts the potential for district scale mineralization. What's really cool about this company is the fact that, you know, they've got their flagship asset, the Manor Bridge Mine, past producing mine, definitely nickel in the ground. And then they've got their strange project, which has a lot of exploration potential, you know, which then creates a lot of upside for the company on the exploration front. So it's really two unique projects, completely different stages and um, quite an interesting company. So let's take a look at the stock now. So Metal Energy. Trade on the TSX Venture under ticker symbol MERG. Market cap of just $11 million. 52 week range of 12 and a half cents all the way up to 25 cents. Currently trading for just 14 cents. So it's amazing guys, this stock has traded around 12 to 18 cents for the past little while. Um, it looks to have put in some support around 12, 13 cents. We're currently trading for 14 cents and now might be a great time to take a look at Metal Energy. So. Let's jump into their investor presentation now to get a better understanding of what the company does and a little bit more information about the market. So metals are the new energy. Metal energy, part of the ore group. So that's another thing I wanted to talk about. The company is part of the ore group, which is really interesting. And um, it definitely says a lot for the company. So the ore group consists of in-house technical and financial expertise and is focused on premier jurisdictions and on metals with strong long-term fundamentals. So we can see the track record, you know, of some of these companies and the ore group themselves, 7.5 times portfolio return in 2020. So here we have metal energy, nickel exploration, discovery and development base load. There was a 15 times return since the spin in 2020. Mitsango River, 10x return, American Eagle Gold, they're focused in Nevada, QC Copper and Gold, 6x return in 2020, ore finders, Active drilling in 2021, backed by strategic investor Eric Sprott and Kirkland Lake Gold. So some big names in this basket of companies. So I think it's you know very important to note that they are part of the ore group 
and do a little more research on them if you would like to know more about that. But the metal energy super cycle is on the horizon. Any material reduction of carbon or fossil fuels will require trillions in investment in the discovery of and supply chain for green energy metals. There is no other alternative. So nickel for energy source, copper for energy transport, and uranium for energy production. And as I mentioned, James Sykes is also the CEO of Baseload Energy, which we did cover, a very successful company. The quantities of energy metals required are not available to replace fossil fuels, and the search for this increased supply is just beginning. If the math is correct, we are facing a massive structural shift in investment away from fossil fuels and towards metals which support a green energy revolution. A key shift like this would dwarf any super cycle we've seen since the industrial revolution. The amount of investment required to meet our green energy demands with a low carbon world is in the trillions. So let's take a look at the nickel spot price because obviously the underlying commodity for this company, which is nickel, is very important. So nickel spot price year to date, we've got a plus 21% increase. So that is US dollars per ton Roughly twenty-two and a half thousand dollars. Of course, there was there's definitely volatility in the market, some fluctuations, but as of this investor presentation, so Metal Energy, this is their corporate overview. Seventy-eight point five million shares outstanding. Twenty-one million warrants and options. Basic market cap that was at sixteen cents of thirteen million. Things have changed a little bit. Seven point five million in the treasury. James Sykes CEO. So let's take a look at their asset package. Now, as I mentioned. The Mana Bridge Mine is their flagship asset, past producing mine. Then they've got the Strange Project, which has a lot of exploration potential. So two different projects at different stages, but you know it's nice to have a flagship asset that we know there's lots of nickel in the ground, and then we have you know, and then we have a project with lots of exploration potential. They don't just have a couple prospective projects that might have some nickel in the ground. You know, it's, they've got a nice mix of both. So exploration plan 2022, Mana Bridge, planned minimum 2,500 meters diamond drilling, four to eight drill holes, strange, planned minimum 1,200 meters of diamond drilling. That's in Q1, Q2, and Q3. Minimum 5,000 meters diamond drilling at Mana Bridge. Project-wide airborne geophysical electromagnetic survey, and it's strange drilling and geophysical surveys to be determined after Q1 drilling. So depending on the drilling results. Then they'll talk about geophysical surveys. And then for Q4, Mana Bridge minimum 5,000 meters of diamond drilling. So lots of drilling going on on Mana Bridge. Like I said, that is their flagship asset. So let's take a look at the Mana Bridge asset just a little bit closer. I'm not gonna dive too deep into the details. We're gonna let James talk a little bit more about this in the interview. So formerly owned by Falcon Bridge and Mine from 1971 to 77, produced 1.3 million tons at 2.55% nickel and 0.27% copper to a depth of 381 meters. Feel free to pause this investor presentation at any point. So I think what's important here is the near-term exploration plan. So establish a maiden 43101 resource for Mana Bridge. And we know that the 43101 is what really counts in the exploration business. It what It's what tells us what's in the ground. Drill program is planned and permitted. Untested nickel shoots exist below 200 meters and follow up to drill program from 2019. Targets are high grade, high tensor nickel zones below and on strength to the historic mine. Here we have some more information about the Mana Bridge mine. So feel free to take a look at this, pause it at any time. This investor presentation can be found on the website as well. So feel free to download that. It's always highly encouraged that you guys do your own research and due diligence on these companies. Now we're taking a look at the Strange Project near-term exploration plan. Strange Project drill program is planned and permitted. Drill to test the sequence at the base of the mid-continental rift. If our hypothesis is correct, Strange could be a new district scale discovery. Strange project, district scale nickel sulfide discovery opportunity near Thunder Bay, Ontario. Targets identified by a team of ex inco geologists. Large scale magnetic anomaly with continental rift shows signs of potential camp scale nickel deposit. Metal energy staked further claims totaling 1100 hectares to encompass magnetic anomaly, year round highway access and permitted to drill. Strange project, a district scale nickel copper project. So here's a little bit more geological information about the Strange project. Feel free to pause the investor presentation at any point. Now we've got the board and management and I wanna put an emphasis on James Sykes, your CEO. 
15 years of experience in exploration and discovery, president and CEO of Baseload Energy, directly and indirectly involved with the discovery of over 550 million pounds of uranium in the Athabasca Basin. So James Sykes is an awesome guy. I always love interviewing him and, uh, you know, awesome track record, a true boots on the ground CEO. So that's it for the introduction, guys. Like I said, we have interviewed James and we will be posting that video shortly after this. But if you're looking for exposure to the EV market in the form of nickel, this company has two very interesting projects, like I said, at two very different stages. One, you know, they know that the nickel is in the ground. Two, the one project on one hand, they know nickel's in the ground. They're proving up that 43101, which is going to be very exciting for this year with an ongoing drill program. And then their second project has lots of exploration potential, which give the which gives the company, you know, added upside. So I'm excited to cover this company. I'm excited for the EV market in general, and we know that nickel is going to be very important. So small cap company in this multi-billion dollar industry. Um, take a look at Metal Energy today. That's it for the video, guys, and we'll see you in our next video. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research done your third due diligence and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself this video is not financial advice furthermore this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video if you want to know the full disclosure details check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer thanks so much for watching guys and i look forward to seeing you in our next video